Okay, so I'm gonna grade by DaVinci Resolve. I currently have DaVinci Resolve Studio 17, so I haven't upgraded since then. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna bug up my database. So I'm gonna select the first one and then the next one. And then we're gonna hit where it says bug up. And I'm gonna save it. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna save an external hard drive and I don't have a database folder, so I'm gonna create one. It's gonna create database. And I'm gonna select create and then save. It says this operation might take some time depending on the size of your database backup. So it might take a little while. All right, so it says database backup successful. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna select the next database. I'm gonna click backup. And it's gonna take me to the same folder and I'm gonna label different. Well, it says local database, so I guess I can just save it. Same message, might take a little while, but this one's smaller, so it might take longer. So it was faster. I'm gonna click OK, and then we're gonna close DaVinci Resolve. Okay, I already downloaded the software, so I'm gonna open it up. And I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Double click on it. All right, so installation was successful, so I'm gonna close this down. Move to trash, let's just keep it just in case. Might delete it later. And I'm gonna close the installation. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into applications. I'm gonna look for DaVinci Resolve. Click open. And as you can see, it's already popping up right there. All right, so here's uh, DaVinci Resolve 18, the main page where it says what are all the changes. I mean, if you're upgrading from 18.2 to 80.3, you probably won't see this. This is for the around from 70 to 18. So for new guys like me. Anyway, so I'm gonna click continue and then great, yours are to speed before jumping straight into the battery. Let's make sure you all set up start. Okay, so um, now, the, I mean, I can see the two databases, but they're not connected, so so I'm gonna click on local database. The first one could be there. I create project library and then upgrade. And then there it goes. Yeah, that's pretty much what I um what I had before. Okay, now let's select the main database where I have all my main videos. So I'm gonna get upgrade project library. We recommend that you back out the the project I already did. Upgrade. So it might take a little while because there's a lot of projects, so All right, okay, so this looks like it's complete, so everything is there. I'm trying to open the folder, but it takes a long time. Finally, it's open, and basically is, yeah, all the all my files are there. I mean, it just, and just the computer is trying to populate the whole, uh, the thumbnails for all the projects. So that's what it's taking a little longer, but all my projects are there, and I'm, I'm, I'm good to go. So I'm gonna go back into the other folder, and then it's actually doing the same thing. So, I mean, once it populates the thumbnails for all, for every single project, it should be faster. So it should be quick, so. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.